welcome in the head basketball coach of BYU women's basketball, Jeff Judkins. It's time to jam yeah. with Juddy. Oh, welcome. Time, man, and I hear welcome. you. We're going to get your signature on the flag. We got a new desk. This is like a new look. Yeah, for this us. new look. I like it. Yeah. It's chic. It's been too long, my friend. How have things been? How are the horses? Horses are doing great. They're surviving. This cold weather is not easy on them, but, you know, if you take good care of them and you watch it, you're fine. Um, it's, yeah, it's been, it's been a, a fun summer, you know, going to Europe as a team and doing things. And so far this year, we've, we've played very well in moments and the moments we haven't played very well. And hopefully we can change that and can be more consistent with things we're trying to do. What's harder to manage, your horses or this team? Team. The horses, when I pull up with my truck, no matter where they are, they run immediately to me. I can't <laughs> say that my team does that every time. You're staying, you're staying in a parking lot that doesn't happen. Okay. <laughs> so when I walk in the building, I think they know, my team knows I'm there, but they don't come running to me. They don't come running, yeah. <laughs> coach, coach, you're here. It's hey, great. Guys. Hey, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Five and one start for your team, but you've dropped two of the last three. At six and three, how would you assess the overall status of your program right now? Well, you know, you always look as a coach at your schedule and say, okay, this is where you you look at and say we should be here. I personally, we thought we would be six and three with if we didn't play well in these three big games. We didn't think we would lose to Southern Utah. Beating TCU was a big plus. Um, the Utah game last week. Um, We've really played quite well. It, it's just Utah's playing very well. Huff was a hard match and going scoring 24 points. And uh, we, you know, we just, we had our opportunities and we just didn't take care of them. And um, hopefully we'll learn from that. Um, this has been a crazy schedule. We had five games in nine days, all on the road. Wow. Then we come home, go to Utah, week, week time. Now we got another week. We're at home, and then we have another week and final week, and then we play Northern Colorado. So three games in the month of December is very unusual, but part of it was Christmas around the world, finals, finals for other schools, and it's, it's just a difficult it's, – you know, it's, it's hard to schedule that during that time. You haven't played a game in the Merritt Center in 27 days tomorrow. Do you remember where to go? No. The locker room totally, is and everything? You know – and we haven't been in there, you know, with Christmas around the world, then devotionals. Isn't this what then, the annex is for? Yeah. that's Thank goodness for the annex. Or I'd be going crazy right now. <laughs> because you think about what's gone on with BYU last two weeks. With volleyball, we would have no way of getting in, in the Smithfield house at all. So that would have been over. And then... Of course, we can't miss. We can't let students miss their PE classes and the RB. So that I don't know what we would have well, done. Plus, there's the old guys playing at noon. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, that. that's right. How we kick them out? I mean, it's <laughs> it's gotta get a sweat in. But it's it. Thank goodness for uh, the many many people that were involved in getting us the annex. Um, it has been an absolute blessing, um, and it's made things so much easier for us. Where has it made the biggest difference in the improvement of your overall program? Recruiting has helped a lot. You know, you bring kids in for their visit unofficially or if it, and they see what you have in the facilities. Second is there's no excuse for my, for my players to say, Coach, haven't had time to shoot. Hey, that gym's open 24-7, except for Sunday, 24-7. You can go in there. You can shoot. And then I think the last part of just been for us as coaches is we don't have to deal with all the frustration of noise and this and that. We can close that thing off and, and be able to have good quality practices that we need to have. Do you still have our autographed picture in your office? I still have it in there. <laughs> Surprise. And people ask me all the time when they come in, who are these guys? And what? I go, don't you watch TV? These guys are famous. What? <laughs> Shocked. Uh, Colorado State, they're four and four. You played them last year. Uh, what is four Eastern on BYU TV, by the way? What are some of the keys to beating Colorado State tomorrow? Well, they they have a very unusual team, and what I mean by that is they they don't really have a center. Hmm. They just go five out, and the, and their center brings the ball up, and they just move the ball around and cut and try to take you one on one. So we have to really our matchups are so important. Um, for me as a coach to see what matchup's going to work the best 
defensively. Secondly, um, they have a, a, a player who is very difficult to guard. I don't know her name, but I just know her number, 35, and she was a big player for them last year. Malia shut her down, so we got to have hopefully Baisley or Brenna or even Jasmine can maybe you know, shut her down. And then we've got to attack a zone. They're going to zone us the whole game. We haven't had that for a while, so I said, you know, Southern Utah, or excuse me, Utah Valley did, and we did a good job of attacking that. We have to do the same thing. Is Jeff Judkins uh, with Lo us on BYU Lori Sports. Devos? Yeah. Is that That's ring it. a bell? Yeah. She's from yeah. Belgium. I, I didn't She's even, an international player I didn't even player look that up. I just I, just I know. That. You got it. You guys got it. I don't it. have a computer like right that. in front of me right now. <laughs> the leading scorer on your team is a freshman, and you always want – New players are coming and make an impact. But Shaylee Gonzalez at 16.2 points per game. She's shooting just a hair under 50% from the field. Where were your expectations for her compared to where she is this year? Well, my expectations are right where she is. I thought when we recruited her and I watched her for two years, she committed to us two years ago. People don't realize she could have gone anywhere. She had every Pac-12 school recruiter. They won a state championship, took second, should have won it, lost the last second. Uh, but I thought she'd come in and do this. And, and um, her Utah game was probably not her best. It wasn't a bad game, but it wasn't her best game. And I think that's normal for a freshman coming into a big game like that on the road, uh, playing six straight road games. Um, it, 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 but she really has done some wonderful things for us. And I, I think you see flashes of her. Um, and her ability. And the funny thing, we were in San Diego, and Andre Miller lives in San Diego, and he came to our game, and he came, comes to, and watched. He came with us and watched the men's Utah football game, BYU, and uh, we talked, and he said, that girl reminds me a lot of him. Hmm. And I, I, I agree with him. The way I see her play and her strengths and what she, she reminds me a lot of Andre. Wow. So uh, if she can have a career like him, I'll be a happy coach. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That, that would be, be unbelievable. Amazing. But, you know, I think Paisley has been a big surprise. She has come in and scored and done a great job. Brenna has played like Brenna last year. She needs to do a little bit more for us scoring for us and do some things. Chalet's played very well in some games. Utah games, she got early foul trouble. I think that hurt her. Sarah is now starting to come back, looking more like Sarah. Hopefully, um, she'll get it. You know, she'll get her rhythm back. Um, Maria's playing with the experience of her starting and this and that. Maria's been a very solid player coming off the bench. And uh, last but not least, Jasmine. I need Jasmine to to come in and, and be be a force defensively and rebounding and be tough. If she does that, then I think we've we've got a good a good eight, eight rotation. BYU Colorado State tomorrow live on BYU TV. I'll be there, Juddy. And it's cool. about time I haven't seen I you guys. I know. You know, I haven't yeah. seen, and I heard Chris is not going to be there, so, but it's all right. We'll have you. It's good. I'll be there. Lauren McLean's going to hang out with me. She promises that uh, she'll do her best to uh, keep things under control. <laughs> I'm sure she will. <laughs> she'll do a great job. Four will. Eastern, two Mountain. You mind signing our flag? BYU and Colorado State. Yes, right? please sign, sign the flag. Yeah. Sailor this is a, this is a new flag. flag. Do you mind signing it? Okay, I'll sign it. You can it. sign it right now if you want. I do it right now? Yeah. Okay. You, yeah, if you want. You own this place, man. You played for the Celtics. It's true. He can do what he wants. Also, yeah. a huge portion of the karma to Jeff Judkins yes. and Women's BYU Hoops. Women's Basketball. Yes. As they take Colorado on Colorado State, State, State tomorrow. Awesome. Hold